See that steam coming off that thing? It's hot. Mm -hmm. On fire. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's me, your boy, back again with another one. Check this out. Y'all gonna start needing something to stick to your ribs, you dig? Something that you can get in your feel your soul up. I'm getting ready to make for y'all a pot pie. Okay, y'all, right here, we got that chicken stock, three and a half uh, tablespoons of cornstarch, a little poultry season, garlic powder, uh, black pepper. That's all that's in that. This right here is that rotisserie chicken. This is just some extra chicken stock, you know, just in case. Broccoli, got your onions, you got your potato. Now, these is hash brown potatoes, but I like using these, you know what I'm saying? And this right here is uh, white cheddar and yellow cheddar. This is your mixed veggies, you understand me? You see that corn and everything in there? Green beans, you dig, sweet pea. This is just a simple little mix. Half a teaspoon of sage, a uh, teaspoon of poultry seasoning. Um, you got some uh, chicken bouillon in there. You got some saison in there. You definitely have a tablespoon of black pepper in there. And I didn't use any regular salt, pink or otherwise, not in this particular part. And there is some garlic in this too. Here we go, y'all. It's gonna go kind of quick, so y'all gotta pay attention, you understand me? Now, this is a cast iron skillet, baby. I put a little extra virgin olive oil in here, just, you know, just for a little, just in case. You know what I'm talking about? I don't want nothing sticking. I don't want to hear no excuse, you understand me? First, we're gonna put this chicken in here because you know what? It's a chicken pot pie. It's the star of the show, you hear me? We're gonna put these in here. You gotta have them veggies. Gotta have them. I toss this with my hand because I can. Put these potatoes next. Now, like I said, when you buy these in the store, if you're looking for potatoes, like where do you get them from? Go get them hash browns, man. Get the get the cues. You know what I mean? Because they are already ready to do what they're supposed to do. A little onions in here. So this is what we're gonna do. This is how I like to do mine. Now look, this is how I like to do it. You know what I'm talking about? touch nothing raw so I can go right back in that seasoning but I got to see how it look I got to see that everybody get some you can't be stingy you understand me but I know that it's enough that's when you go on ahead and put that right on top of there you know what I'm talking about give it that give it that because you you got to understand see this is still going in here I know it's not that much broccoli a lot of people some people don't like broccoli but I didn't use a lot because that broccoli holds a whole lot of moisture and uh, I don't want this thing to turn into a soup, you understand? If you don't go on here and do your thing, it'll settle on the bottom. Usually what I do is I put the cheese on in here right now because that helps thicken it up. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna stick to my original plan before I'm gonna mess something up. <laughs> Cause it helps to melt and thicken things up too. Yeah. Now I rolled this out a little bit just to make sure that I had enough to make it stick. Now I'm not gonna do nothing fancy with this. I'm just gonna press it down. Like this, not real high. I'm gonna throw a little, you know, little, little breathing room in there for him so this thing can go ahead and do what it's supposed to do. You know, that's about all it needs, really. It's gonna come over the top and all that good stuff. But that's okay. Now, normally, this is where I would butter it and all that. But I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm gonna go ahead and just put it in here because we got a lot of stuff going on and we got a short time to get there, baby. Let that thing sit. I say between 45 minutes to an hour because we got it on such a low heat. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna turn it up. It's at 350. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and clean this mess up. I'm gonna get back at you in a minute. When it's done, I'm gonna show you some of the process of cooking. I'm gonna take a little, you know, get you a little beat of that. You understand me?
like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you know when I'm back on, you know if you won something. I don't have a lot of money, baby, but you can get some. It's on point. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. This one right here, delicious. Hot. Mm-hmm. Crust is nice and flaky. Seeding is on point. Very good. It's not running. It's the way it's supposed to be. Now, y'all didn't get to see the whole everything. If I wasn't so greedy, I'll just show y'all right now. See that steam coming off that thing? It's hot. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. On oh, fire. <laughs> Let them know your boy got that fire food, Judge Dammy. This will help people see it. It'll help YouTube show it to more people. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be a shame what I'm about to do to this. And that craziness, all madness. I ain't even shame. Yeah, I'm eating all this. Delay that. I might be losing a couple pounds, but I ain't never not one time said I was on no diet. <laughs> but this is all, it's a lot of good stuff in here. It's mostly vegetables. The only bad thing that I could say with me in here was not a lot of salt. It's not a lot of stuff like this, but, but more herbs than anything, you know, onions, and uh, you know, poultry season, the sage, stuff like that. that. That's what's in here, but it's good. It tastes like there's a lot more net in here. Mm, mm, mm. Hey, man, look. I'm gonna have to, y'all gotta get up out of here. I'm, I'm, my record's skipping and everything. I'm stuttering. Y'all got to go. So, I'm gonna tell y'all like this. What's better than us, baby? That's all we got is us. Me, you, and this food. Two and two, baby.